Hey, it's Random Code here, and in this video, I'm going to continue working on my full stack crude application. And in my last video, I now have a working database setup inside a Docker container, and it can be started using Docker Compose. So now I would initialize my Spring Boot application. And because I'm working in IntelliJ and I'm very familiar with IntelliJ, we're going to be using IntelliJ to initialize this project. So I would open my IntelliJ IDE. And I would create a new project. I would choose Spring Initializer. And I'm just going to set my position to my backend folder. Like that. We're going to change the group to com.exam. Let's just keep it as fine. Artifact backend is fine. Come example backend fine. We're going to be using Java 17. And for dependencies, for now, I'm just going to add Spring Web because I know I'm definitely going to be using Spring Web for my REST APIs. I might need some more dependencies, but we're going to add them manually later if needed. We'll then finish and load our project. Like that, we now have a Spring Boot application, and we can also see inside Visual Studio Code that everything has been added here, but I prefer definitely to work in IntelliJ when we're doing Java. And let's see just the basic structure. And note, we have a bunch of red and greens because I just created it as a GitHub project. So not everything has been committed and added yet. So it's just going to showcase, but it doesn't matter. But for now, we just have a simple backend application. Spring Boot application simply running our Spring Boot application. So nothing fancy, nothing special. But it's all good for now. So in this video, I just want to add my connection to my MySQL. We're not going to use it, but I'm just showcasing how we would connect it. So inside my main resources, application properties, I would just copy paste. And I will leave this, of course, I'll leave a link in the description to this entire project where you can see this as well. But I just need a few lines in my spring properties to connect to my database. So first, I need it to auto update. That's always nice. We then need to define a data source URL. So it's just going to be JDBC, MySQL, localhost, 3306. And then we need a database name. So when we go back into our backend, we know that our database name is user management. So we would here go localhost, 3306, user management. Our username is going to be root, and our password is going to be password. And I'm not going to showcase now that it actually works. We can run the application and we shouldn't get any errors. But let me also showcase that we can actually. Yeah, it's just started. I don't actually remember if we get any showcase here. But in the next video, we're going to start actually retrieving some data so we can check it works. Otherwise, I'm using IntelliJ Ultimate, which allows me to actually directly connect to my database through IntelliJ, which is quite nice, which is not necessary. You might be using the free version, which is more than fine, but I just want to showcase as well that we connect directly to the database to showcase it actually works. But first, let me actually just start the database. So I already have Docker running in the background. I can then go back into my terminal inside Visual Studio Code. And let's have a look what we have here. We have our Docker Compose file. I will then simply do Docker Compose. Up, and it should be running quite fast because I think the image is already pre built in the backend. So let's do Docker PS, and we can see we have a user dashboard database running on localhost port 3306. So now we should be able inside IntelliJ to go into this database area, connect a data source, MySQL data source. We can give it a name. So let's just call it MySQL DB. It's going to be localhost port 3306. Our user was root. Our password is going to be again password. And our database is going to be the same as our. We have defined everywhere else. So it's going to be our user management. We can then test the connection. And we here get a green check mark showing that it's working. And we'll test again. And we get this information that's connected. We have a ping, so how fast, and everything. We can then simply apply. 
we now get a console where we can actually query our database directly in here. And we also, in the right side, have an area where we can say MySQL DB, user management, contain tables, users, and we can see the columns, information about their data, and so on. And we can also click on this users table to actually query all the information in our table and see this single person ID name Hans, email and status that we actually created in the last video when we set up our database. So we now have a clear connection to the database inside IntelliJ, which isn't like a part of the program. It's more like just a build tool to see what it looks like. And later on, when we're actually sending information to the database, we can very quickly update it here, see if it actually works. But otherwise, as mentioned, this application properties will be used by Spring Boot when we in my next video showcase how we can then query our database to get this user. So this is just a quick showcase of setting up our Spring Boot environment in IntelliJ and showcasing again that we have a database running inside Docker using Docker Compose. And we then connect to it and actually query it and insert and so on using IntelliJ Ultimate's database interface. So if you enjoyed the quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.